Okay, welcome to the first uh, Let's Play, uh, if, if you would, of this demo for The Matrix. Uh, I was quite excited for this when I found out that it was going to happen, I preloaded it. Uh, so this is going to be our version of what the uh, Matrix Awakens demo, uh, playable demo is. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. It's not often that we do like a live commentary. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me perfect and whatever else. I've got the microphone set up so sorry if there's any like background noise. But uh, this should be, it should be fun. Uh, so let's get ready to go. Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this or that, why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Can I just say these graphics look fantastic? Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. <laughs> wow, these look amazing. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Welcome to the Matrix. Ever go onto the freeway suicide or the motorway? Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. <laughs> Word of advice agents are bad. But whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. Oh, he does the Superman thing. There he goes. So, what now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? Shoot the tires. Say no more. Wow, that's quite impressive, actually. Okay, right, let's have a look. Alright, I see. Oh, need to charge the controller. up. God, it feels, it feels really responsive, actually. Wow. 
Wow. I'm, I'm, in, I'm actually pretty impressed with these graphics. They're fantastic. I mean, considering this is a demo, I mean, this is pretty good. Now, I like the, uh, for the PlayStation 5 as well, there's a little bit of uh, adaptive triggers going on here. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't they? They got the tires. <laughs> they let the agents get us. Very, very, very cinematic. It's almost like playing the uh, original Matrix trilogy, like the films. Ooh. Oh my god! So action-packed. Awesome. God, at this point they should have just asked for the Terminator to be in this. They really should have. Wow! You check out the big gun! <laughs> wow. Not even letting go. Just holding down. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, take out the Black Hawk. How's that still going? There we go. Yeah. What are you doing? Time to blow this box down. is vibrating like mad. I don't think the battery's gonna last. <laughs> wow, even that just that was impressive. All the cars and the detail, the particle effects, the explosions. That was fantastic. That was really good. Wow. Okay, so it's, it's tracking what everything that we see. That was pretty cool. Wow. Those are so that's in some impressive graphics that I'm not even gonna lie. It's very impressive for even for a, a like a demo. This is amazing just to see what the future of games could be what games can be if if industries and stuff actually really cared okay so this is the static noise that they were talking about so all of that obviously like the triangles and how they make the buildings themselves very cool actually very cool yeah 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 This is amazing. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, I see. Okay. So you rend those render pixels and then you can turn them off. Okay, so it looks like really grainy and stuff on the floor and then it doesn't. Pretty impressive, actually. Oh, wow. Well, now we're into actual gameplay. Okay. Feels pretty fluent. It's almost like a, like a GTA, just, just with a massive graphics mod. Wow. Fly, sprint. Oh, 
Ah, I see, okay. Okay, so I see that's... Oh, okay, so, so the character model just follows us, and then obviously we can change and it will drop us back. Wow, I'm very, uh... Let's have a look. Let's see how high we can go before the game uh, screams. Let's have a look. Wow. Try and take it a little bit slower here. Wow, I mean, there's quite a lot of detail. So, see, the motorway has the most amount of movement. Uh, the streets and stuff, quite quite far from where we are, actually, have a have a really good render distance uh, when you think about it. It actually looks quite real. Uh, if you have a Apple TV, um, when you leave the main menu and stuff, if you go to the main screen, it does like a panoram like view, like a drone flying over like London and and stuff like that. This this is quite impressive. It looks it looks quite like that. I mean, if somebody pulled up a picture and said, you know, this is a uh, New York during the day or you know somewhere in America, it then it would it, it looks pretty real, really. I mean, wow, I'm impressed actually. All right, let's have a look. Let's see if we can can we No. This is impressive. This is very very cool. Let's have a look at the menu. Is there anywhere specific that we meant to go? Oh right, okay, so you can just change like how Wow. Ha! Huh. So that's obviously the matrix filter on where it has like a greenish hue, you can turn it off. Oh wow. This is very, very cool. Wow, it's, it's amazing that it can render this in, in pretty much real time to what you want to do. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. So there might be a little bit of cut editing here just to get used to the game. Wow, this, this looks good. Driving's a bit, a little bit floaty. Woo, Jesus. Okay, very floaty. It's a bit like driving in uh, GTA 4, if you guys have ever played that. Wow. Ooh. God, got a bit of choppiness going on here. I mean, it is only a, a demo. Do we get out with X? Yeah, we do. Let's have a look at this. Uh, I wanted something a bit faster than that. Let's have a look at this. What's this? A, basically a Porsche, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's have a look at this Porsche. Oh, my. It has better handling than the other car did. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Alright. I think, I think that car's kind of done. We'll just leave that there. It wasn't me. Very impressive, actually. It just shows you how quick games and stuff have moved on uh, throughout the generations and the years. All right, let's try again. Let's try with a with a better car. Let's try and get to a a much better area than we are currently in. I mean, the physics are pretty good. I mean, the physics are are actually really good. Oh my! But the 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 controls for the driving is very uh very strange. It's a bit weird. Something out of like Need for Speed, nearly. <laughs> Bosh! Don't even care about the pedestrians. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do we go underneath everything? What's what's going on here? Excuse me. Need to get through. I don't know if there is a horn button. Yeah, this car can come with us for a ride. <laughs> this car's pretty mangled up. I mean, they, 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 they looks pretty good. 
99, 100, come on. I want to go to a bit of faster than this. 120, 121. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, at least we got to a decent speed. I mean, this is this is impressive. I'm very, very impressed with with this so far. The uh, obviously it's not a full fledged game, so I can't criticise it too much. But uh, I can imagine there's a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of things that we that we don't see. Obviously, it's only a very small playable area. The water effects look quite dated, but everything else. I mean, the the way that the sun and stuff looks as it's starting to to set, and that looks pretty good. The pedestrians have like quite natural reactions. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can do something else. Is there like a specific checkpoint? Or I'm not going to waste uh, everyone's time here. It's just just interesting to see what what we're kind of dealing with because the Matrix is a very very cool concept. Anyways, uh, I've always quite liked the idea of how the Matrix is in in terms of uh, as it is as a game. Ah, oh, here you go. What's this over here? These are small buildings. Can you find the tallest? So I take it that's a like, yeah, like a waypoint. So there's bits to do and see. I mean, to be fair, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I would uh, I'm more than happy to upload little bits of this um, if people wanted it. But I think this is a very very cool. I don't know how much higher we can actually uh, take the camera. Yeah, I think that's it. What's the tallest building? I mean, it's pretty impressive that they were able to render out. So it's, it's, it looks like it's the same island, like doubled and doubled again and doubled again and doubled again, just to to give it a false sense of like realism. Oh, I see a bit of glitchiness down there. Yeah, that's a lot of glitchiness. There you go. What if we pull the camera back? Will it do it again? Yeah. Wow, that looks very odd, that, actually. That, that, that little bit of glitchiness. But for a demo, you know, it's not too bad. I like it. It's pretty uh, pretty dense as well, like I was saying beforehand. I mean, this is it's very impressive, considering it's just a demo. You know, I mean, it's nearly 30 gigs. But it's amazing that they were able to push this amount of, like, texture and resolution out of a, a small little demo. It kind of makes me want them to re-release the Path of Neo that they had on the Xbox. That was a, a wicked game. I'm not too sure if it was on the PS2, but I, I did play it on the Xbox, uh, where they had the Path of Neo, the Matrix. It was a really good game, actually. And they had uh, specific parts filmed for for that specific game that were made, you know, within the same time frame as the film. It was very, very good, actually. It kind of makes me miss it. There was more than one. The Path of Neo was the one I played. There was another one, but I, I never got around to playing it. Okay, well, I think that'll end this off here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little uh, Let's Play walkthrough, if you would. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll up we'll upload videos every now and again of this, of this little demo. But, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously there's lots to fix, but then obviously they could blame it on the Matrix being just new and out and it hasn't changed yeah, very, very cool. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, if you did, uh, please give a like rating. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my boys. Peace out.